Hey, what up fam? Thank you for joining me for Vlogmas Day number 20. stuff that I have going on in order um, it's a lot excuse me y'all cuz I'm giving y'all um, giving y'all a lot of shaking right now I'm shaking y'all up but um, I am doing my best I am trying to catch up or stay up with vlogmas this year by far has been more difficult for me in the beginning I was knocking them out but here lately by me taking on so much it's been like rather difficult for me but I am holding true to what I said I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna push through to the end um, yes I was posting late but I still made sure that I posted my videos I was videoing them it was just a point of getting them edited and put up that was the issue um, but I'm doing the best that I can and I hope you guys see that um, as you guys see I have taken on another endeavor um, amongst all the other things that I have going on yes I um, have become a part of a record label um, no, I am not an artist on the label, but um, I do have a rather responsible role to uphold um, for the label, and I'm doing my best to do so because I don't know if you know me, but whenever I put my mind to something or whenever I say I'm going to do something, I do it, and I try to do it to the best of my ability, and that is what I'm committed to right now. I love everybody that I work with on the label yes I am the new guy or girl but I have been received with nothing but open arms and my opinions and my input have been appreciated and that for itself it just says a lot um, I can't say enough about worldwide entertainment um, the CEO is world worldwide rah-rah and he is a young man with a plan, y'all. He is focused. Um, one thing that I did share with him is that I was very um, impressed with his work ethic and the way that he goes about things. Like, you would not expect a young person to be that focused on not only his career but the career of others and that in itself is just amazing like he's an amazing young man and i am excited about the future of his label and his career it's just he's doing a great thing alexa volume three Girl, no. what's up, y'all? I am in my kitchen cooking. I am making <laughs> what I'm baking is usually going to be well. It's not usually going to be, but I've had I have an order for some banana bread, so that's what I'm making baking right now. So what is, what's going on, y'all? <laughs> I am going to be, I'm going to go ahead and put this, and get this made and put it in the oven. I've already mixed um, my dry ingredients. Now I'm mixing my wet ingredients. 
cracking me up 15 bags to be exact because I'm making a large order y'all know when I made banana bread it's never a little <laughs> And hold on. And if y'all want to know how to make my banana bread, y'all already know that it's um, up on my channel several times. But yeah. You know when you make sure. Um, know when you make sure eggs in you all know you got to mix them in one at a time so don't make that mistake what did I do I know I got y'all at a funky angle but um I just popped y'all up right here so I could talk to y'all y'all hear some noise in the background of course that is Alexa and my daughter. I got one of my kids in the background uh, or in the den behind me watching TV. And they watch TV as loud as they possibly can right here. Putting in my oil. Everybody's doing good. I know, I mean, I know like Christmas will be here in a couple of days and we're all just like trying to stress about it. But I'm here to tell y'all, don't stress. Please don't because let me tell you something. Don't kill yourself trying to get Christmas for your kids. If you can't afford a large, lavish Christmas, then do what you can, okay? Don't let Christmas stress you out. Now, I used to be one of those people. I used to be one of those ones that would be like, oh my God, my babies don't have all of this. But as time went by, just do the, I mean, you realize that you just do the very best that you can. Don't, don't be trying to, I mean, because who are you impressing? Your kids? Like, are they thoroughly impressed? Or are they just grateful? Or do you teach them to be grateful for what they have? You know? Yes, I'm one of those ones. I want my kids to have everything that they ask for. But fact of the matter is, that's not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to happen. And you shouldn't kill yourself trying to make it happen. I mean, that's just the real. Like, don't be trying to kill yourself trying to make sure that your kid got the next whatever it is that's out because they had it in this long so they ain't had it so if they don't have it for another day like what difference would really make you gonna what you gonna feel like you let them down because you ain't buy them the latest toy come on y'all do the best you can and that's all and, and that's it. Just do the best you can. Do what you can. Don't kill yourself trying to. Don't go broke trying to make Christmas happen. Because if your kid ain't had it this long, it ain't going to kill them to not have it. If you can get it for them, then you get it for them. If you can't, like yo mom and daddy couldn't get it for you maybe you know we'll get a couple of things for you now and when your birthday come maybe we'll try to get the rest or whatever you can do don't don't kill yourself okay it's not worth all the stress don't let christmas stress you out and that's not logical you understand what i'm saying it's not logical to get your kid everything that they ask for just because it's christmas so Moral of the story is do what you can. Don't let society or your kids pressure you into thinking that you got to do above and beyond. Do what you can because the day after Christmas on December the 26th, 
you still got to be able to live. You still got to be able to eat. You still got to be able to pay your rent or your mortgage. You still got to be able to pay your car payment. You understand what I'm saying? So Christmas is one day. And a lot of people celebrating Christmas the way that they do, they're not celebrating it. They're not celebrating the real meaning of Christmas. So if the meaning of Christmas to you is to try to figure out if you can get every single gift that your kid asked for, then you might as well call it something else because there's a meaning between in the word Christmas. Christ mass. Look it up. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish mixing this because it's taking on my muscles. Okay? Because it's a big boy. She big. <laughs> so, I'll be right back. I don't have no tripod, so y'all gotta forgive me. I am just in my kitchen doing me. Not really videoing. Um, I don't know where y'all from, but most of you, if you don't know, I live in Virginia. And today was the last day of school for the kids. Which is a blessing and a curse. Because now they're about to eat y'all out of house and home for these uh, little two weeks or however long your kids home. I know mine home for about 12 days, including the weekend. I count them all down. They're home for about 12 at home for about 12 minutes. They told me they're living now. They told me they're living now. I picked up the stock up on cereal and cereal and such. You already know. They act like cereal is what they call cereal is everything. Mine ain't so anyway, y'all. Um, I'm not doing much today. I have a little bit. Let me show y'all. I have a little bit of batter left. I might put it in a little small pan and cook it for them because my husband and the kids really like banana bread. So. And I have some strawberries that I froze that I'm going to use to make some um, strawberry bread. But I'll probably do that a little bit later. Can I help you, ma'am? Y'all want to see somebody cute? Look at my baby. 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 <laughs> Oh, she want to show y'all they had um, pajama day and they could bring a stuffed animal. So this is what she bought to school. Could it have Wait, been any name, bigger? Her name is Caitlin. The unicorn. Caitlin. You get her? Caitlin. But I'm just going to go in here and mind my business. Look, let me tell you. I'm going to show y'all something. Look at this. <laughs> Look. Can y'all see? I don't know. Move. Move out of the way. We got some presents on the tree. But listen, this is the thing. The twins have been like, Mommy, why is it that every day we wake up, there's new presents under the tree? With our names on it. I don't know. What you want, boo-boo? Mm -hmm. I'm cooking you something right now. Can I have a kiss? You ain't kissed me today. I don't even want to talk to you right now. Cause you ain't give me my sugies. Give me my sugies. <coughs> give my kiss. Ow, that's a painful kiss. <laughs> I love my babies. The cop man. At the end of the day, he picked. He picked me up. No, she didn't. No, yes, she, she didn't. Did. Yes, she did. No, she did. She's like, she tipped to me. She's like, ugh. And then to me, she's like, ugh. Yes, she when she was hugging you. Yes. 
Oh, she was gonna say bye bye. She me you gonna up. miss her? She she hugged me. She and was like you this up. and then like that. You gonna miss her? Like yes. You like your teacher? My auntie. You? That's your auntie. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell her you said she your auntie. <laughs> this girl so ticked. <laughs> But you. Guys, you see my birthmark? I have two birthmarks. One right here and one on my thigh. And mommy has one just like me on her thigh, but she Why doesn't have Why you telling two. them all my business? They don't need to know what's on my well, thighs. Well, my thing's so They don't need to know what's on my thighs, mm. I just finished the banana bread. I'm going to have a turkey beside this me. This is Christmas wrapping. Do you like it? It's Christmas wrapping. I am done that with the banana bread. No, it says New York. That's your brother hat. Um, it's done. I just need to let it cool. Pickle then I'm going to wrap it up. But everybody knows that banana bread is always better the second day. So Wait, can you see? Can I got to allow it to cool. Can you show her? But hopefully, I will. Yeah. I am sleepy. Actually, I'm missing an earring. I just noticed it. Yeah. I don't know where my earring went. And yeah, these, are my fa these are my favorite earrings, so. I am tired, y'all. I can go to sleep. I can just do honestly. I'm so sleepy. I could do this. Wait, what? And might sleep for the rest of the night right here in this chair. Enda. Like this. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I am a firm believer, y'all. If you don't get sleep, sleep will get you. It's no joke, y'all. When you're tired, take your rest. Or your body you gonna do? take it. Or your body is going to take it and it's not going to wake up until it's then gotten its rest. I know I look rough, but my lips is jacked. It is what it is, though. But anyway, what I mean, are y'all done? Have y'all finished Christmas shopping or are y'all still shopping like? Which is it? Y'all still got stuff to buy? What are y'all doing? I know y'all ain't still shopping. Don't do that to yourself. Because if you ain't got it yet, just let it go. <laughs> let it go. Stop stressing yourself, y'all. Listen, we've been through enough this year. <laughs> we've been through enough. Don't stress yourself any longer. Go ahead and get yourself right for 2022, y'all. She is around the corner. Do you hear me? Y'all ready? I'm expecting some big things in 2022. I don't know. Well, I do know. But I know. Go ahead and, and get yourself together. Write your things down. Things that you want to manifest in the new year. Go ahead and get that written down now and start connecting, connecting, connecting. Speak it. Because we all want to do big things next year. So we are trying to trying to get there next year. We have been through enough. It's only up from here, right? But um y'all forgive your girl because she's exhausted. I'm gonna end this video right here. I wanna thank you guys for rocking with me. I appreciate it. Even when my I look rough and my lips ashy, y'all still my friend. I appreciate that. But anyway, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified for my future uploads, which will be tomorrow. Y'all want to watch that video because 
It's something nice that you can make for family and friends. And mostly everybody will like it. And it's easy. It's very easy. And I'm going to talk about where I got the idea from. Because it's a childhood. It's something that I remember from my childhood that we sold as a um, as a fundraiser. But I'll talk to you guys a little more about that tomorrow. Make sure you tune in for the video tomorrow. It's going to be easy, short, sweet. And it's something that you guys can do for the holidays. And you can do it. Being at the holidays is, uh, well, being at Christmas is only a couple of days away. This recipe is something that you can execute today or tomorrow. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But anyway, make sure y'all stay tuned for tomorrow's video. And I will talk to you guys.